and we're here at the ID Tech X show. Hi. Hi, Tarbox. So, what's the latest? The latest is a data quantification software prototype. We spoke in Berlin 2019 at ID Tech X about the data quantification and how I transform data into mass by identifying and attributing a digital mass particle. And here we are, uh, I have a prototype and uh, uh, showing it for the first time here at ID Tech X Show Santa Clara Silicon Valley. So you put it right here in the 3D program, you can show it moving around? And yes. This is yes. your data points? This is the digital mass particle, as you can see here. And this is the object. So that, that is created exclusively of mass, of digital mass, and not as a 3D model surface. So we go into the substance of things rather than the appearance of things. And here, what you see literally is that each of those dots, it's coordinate in an absurd 3D space created exclusively for me where each of those dots is free and I can engage manually with the digital mass. So does that mean you choose the dots or what do you mean? Not only I choose the dots, I engage manually. I can engage manually with which one of them. As a result, I change the structure of the data set on a Quantif on, a, on, 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 a, uh, 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 on a particle level by identifying and engaging with each individual digital mass particle and applying to each one of it a value. Does it end up looking like something like this? And this, what have, or what it will be? What you have here is the result of a quantified data set. This is not a 3D model, as it is unique, as a result of the unique quantified data set, and it's a unique data sculpture in a tangible format. So you do something tangible at the end? It could be. It could be what is really important here by showing the digital mass and the way I uh, 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 work, engage manually with it, is the digital mass as a condition of data in a unique, non-replicable and non-duplicable state, as a pure digital gold with an artistic value. As a result, you have an original and unique tangible object, but also on which you can establish, and this is very important, that's the fundamental thing, ownership. As the result, you Hello, have a, a claim to make on your original data set that served for the quantification, which is private property. So, any data set quantified and put in a state as a unique, non-duplicable and not replicable uh, uh, data set as art. One-way street and you can never go back. And you were talking about your patent, you were talking about the formula, and you were talking about, what's, what's the latest, what's, had, what's it been right here at the ID Show USA? Do you have people Data coming up? Data as and private property. Data as private, private pro property. We have gone beyond the formula. The prototype is here and data as private property as a result, and you can have an investment in it. So you invest in your data? In a quantified data in a state of art on which you can claim and establish an ownership as a unique 
asset. Here in the Silicon Invest Valley. in unique data as art. In the Silicon Valley, there's many famous big companies like Facebook and Google. They just take all the people's data and they just use it. For them, it's huge value. But the, the user doesn't really know how much value they're giving up, right? All I talk here is about art. How each individual user can transform their original data set into art and acquire unique data set as a result of the commissioning an artwork with me. And as a result, they can establish ownership. So what kind of discussions do you have uh, around the Silicon Valley. Do you, did you, uh, do you have meetings? Do people come to your yes, booth? Yes, and uh, the feedback is rather extraordinary as people are more and more sensible about the concept of unique data set, non-reproducible, non-duplicable data set. Of course, this is art and it will always remain art. But when I talk to people, they start to imagine how something like this can be used for other purposes. I don't understand how that can take place because it's an absurd data set and that's why it's art. But you never know, uh, people's relation to art is unique and extremely personal and I believe giving them the opportunity to monetize on a data set as an original and unique artwork, it's a very good business model. So what kind of ideas do people bring to you that want to do with this, maybe? They always ask me, what data can I give you? They always ask me, what is the end output? And they always ask me, how do you actually engage with, uh, uh, with the data? And uh, uh, answering step number one, step number two, step number three. Original input, quantification, original artwork as an end format. They start to think that here we are, we have a proposition of somebody telling us that my data is not only unique, but that is mine and that I can establish ownership over my data in a new state as an artwork. So this basically, as after that, everything is possible. It's in the hand of the consumer who commissions the artwork with me. People also talk about maybe uh, uh, encryption or security or something like that. Is it unrelated? It is totally unrelated. Uh, this is not an encryption process. It is really transforming the original data set on a particle level, on a structural level. I can never go back. It's like an artistic process. It's a one-way street. You can never go back. I can never go back to the original data set even though it contains the truth of the original data set. So how is your experience to do, how does it feel to, to do this transition between the taking the data and outputting art? How does it, well, how, how I, is this I'm, I'm, type I'm, of... I'm uh, very confident right now because I have established control over it and I can show it. And uh, uh, that's the most important thing. That's, that's uh, why I'm here. You see, it's, it's, the concept has a tangible body now and it really communicates to the people and it's fascinating how the term uh, data as art is not anymore as abstract and estranged as it used to be. Now people relate to it instantly and especially of the fact that their data is in a new state as a unique entity. That fascinates them, absolutely. Maybe it's because they watched our previous videos, they start to get used to what you, you're trying to say, I, right? I, I, I uh, of course, it, it, it's very possible. Yes, yes, this is it, this is it, of course. Educating the, the masses to understand no, what no, no, you're no. trying to say. Showing them you have power, control 
over your data in an unexpected, unimaginable way. And then people can a just unique data artwork. Contact you, invest yes. or order artwork. Uh, right now, I'm focused on the investment, so I can build my platform where this process can be automated and where I can reach as many customers as possible. It's a different approach toward data. It's a human approach toward data. It's empowering each individual and giving them the entire process on which they have ownership.